Sunday, March 31st. Happy Easter. Quick recap of yesterday. Three days in a row we won. Our five man went 405 for a double up. Three days in a row so far for MOB since the season started. We're going to try to end the month on a high note. Uh, I don't have a favorite two man just yet for MOB. Uh, but I do have a strong five as of now. I am working on an NBA video for later. Uh, but let's get started on this five man. First one I'll be going with is John Gray. He wasn't fully stretched out during spring training. I don't think he's going to go over five innings. Going against a good hitting Cubs team, 5.5 uh, a little bit too high. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the less. Uh, maybe if it was in the middle of the season, I'll be taking the over. Uh, but given his first start, he did have a neck issue in his last spring training start. Uh, so I don't think he's going to go far into the game. So I'll be taking John Gray's less strikeouts. Next up I'll be taking is Brandon Fatt from the Arizona Diamondbacks. And I'm going to be taking less on a 6.5. Uh, too high of a mark, yes, he is going against the Rockies. Uh, we were bit uh, by Merrill Kelly yesterday. He was the only one that did not come through. Uh, so hopefully, Brandon stays under seven strikeouts to cash for us. Uh, Daily Grind Fantasy has it at a 53.6% hit rate to go under. Uh, so hopefully those odds are good. Third one I'll be taking is Chris Sell. And you might miss this prop by the time this video comes out but I'll be taking his fantasy score to go over uh, another good alternative to replace that is Vladimir Guerrero's hits runs and RBIs my fourth leg will be is Jose Ramirez and he has excellent numbers against Oakland's pitcher today which is Paul Blackburn I think he's batting over 400 career time uh, so at 8.5 hitter fantasy I'll be taking the over he has gone over since the season started uh, he does it pretty much all. He's a five-tool player. Uh, steals, hits runs, uh, hits RBIs. He is the go-to guy for Cleveland. So I'll be taking the over on that. And I think they'll complete the sweep against Oakland. Final leg will be uh, an MLB live prop. And the best one right now, I think they're too inflated for the season uh, so far. Uh, it is only a couple games. Uh, but the only one that I like for today is Michael King. He is at 3.5 going against the Giants first three innings. Michael King is a strikeout artist. I think he'll get four in the first four innings. So I'll be taking the over on that. Uh, since by the time this video comes out, I think Chris Sale might be off the board. Uh, so a good alternative will probably be a hitter fantasy score. And you can take your pick here. I think uh, Ronald Acuna obviously is the main pick. Randy Rosarena is another good pick. You can go right back to Eli De La Cruz at 9, still a little bit too high. Uh, but I think the one that's going to go over is probably Juan Soto once again. He's been a great catalyst for the Yankees. Uh, so I'll be taking the over. He's going against JP France. Uh, so it's not really a good pitcher, mid-tier pitcher. Uh, so I think Juan Soto will have a good game once again. So you can target that or you can tar uh, target... Uh, Freddie Freeman or Mookie Betts, one of these two. I think Shohei will probably bounce back as well, so that's another good option. Uh, but these are the five that I'm going with. John Gray and Brandon Brett, less strikeouts. Chris Sale over pitcher fantasy score. Jose Ramirez over fantasy score. And Michael King and MLB live prop. First three innings to get four strikeouts. So mix and match, pick your favorite. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.